Hi, Assalamualaikum guys. We meet again for this week. This week, I would like to introduce you a new chapter, a new topic which is topic 7, the internet and the web. So next. So uh, by the end of this topic, you must be able to explain uh, the origin of the internet and the web, explain uh, how to access the web using the provider and browser, Compare different web utilities including plugin, filter, file transfer utilities, and internet security uh, suite. Uh, compare different internet communication including email, text messaging, instant messaging, social networking, blogs, microblog, webcast, podcast, and wikis. Uh, next, you should able to describe search tool including search engine and specialized search engine. Evaluate the accuracy of information presented on the web. Next, you should able to identify electronic commerce including B2C, C2C, B2B and security issues. Describe cloud computing including the three-way inter interaction of clients, internet and service provider. And the last one is you should able to discuss the internet of things, IoT and the continuing development of the internet to allow everyday object to send and receive the data. Okay guys, next. So, internet versus web. So, what does it mean about the internet? So, internet is the most developed network system currently in use to connect people all over the world. So, the definition of internet means that internetworking, which is it is a large network that connects the link million of business, government agency, educational institution, and also the individual. Okay. Rather than that, uh, this internet launched in 1969 through advanced research project agency network that called ARPANET. To connect the internet, you need use the physical, which is wire, cable, satellite, and also rules. When we talk about going online, that's mean uh, connected to the internet. We need to connect uh, to the internet if we want to online. So next is web so what does it mean about the web a uh, world wide web or we call it as the www is a part of the internet so a uh, web is the part of internet so www is not the internet remember there is a difference between internet and web okay so introduced in 1991 uh, so uh, web is used for the multimedia interface of the internet resources when we talk about the multimedia interface, uh, means that in the web we have the text, we have the image, we have the audio, music, and so on. So that is the mean of uh, web. Okay, so this is all the web generation. We have three generation of the web. We start from the web 1.0. So when web 1.0 is the first generation means that uh, in web 1.0 it's just for the linking existing information focus so it's focus uh, to uh, information only so in web 1.0 uh, the search program were created and that provide link to website with specific words or phrases okay so uh, this web 1.0 is the for example is the google search Okay, in web 1.0 so next is web 2.0 it says that the uh, dynamic content creation for example facebook is the most common in web 2.0 means that in the web 2.0 we can uh, uh, we can uh, have the content creation and social interaction using the facebook or other social media so the next is the web 3.0 which is this is the current generation so web 3.0 we can personalize content creation for user for example in the website we can uh, small the small the view of the of the website and so on so we can personalize content our website okay so uh, so this is different between web 3.0 with web 2.0 and web 1.0 so as you can see if web 1.0 is more focused to connection but web 2.0 is more to social web when we talk about the social we want to make interaction and we want to connect with the people 
So Web 3.0 is the semantic web, means that we can read, write, and execute web. So uh, it have the connect knowledge. Currently, undefined example is semi block has that so on. So this is the term for the uh, for the CS term. Okay. So this is example for the web 2.0 blog, Facebook, Twitter, um, what more? Instagram. Okay, so this is the personal website. For example, like Google. Okay. So next. So this is the common internet users. So first we have the communicate. Like I mentioned uh, earlier. So the most popular internet activity is the communicating. For the communication. Okay. So next we have the education or e-learning. This is very important. Uh, right now because we are in the pandemic situation so we can uh, go to the class face to face because of the covid right so uh, that's why we use the internet for the e-learning for the online classes okay so this is my favorite okay shop shopping for uh for us to do the shopping online for example like lazada like the shopee and uh, like a uh, Tesco, Tesco also have the online, uh, online shop. Uh, my favorite also for the entertainment. So entertainment, uh, we can uh, uh, watch a movie. We can uh, listen to music. Uh, we can play the online game and so on. So next is the searching. Of course, searching we want to search information. Okay, next. Next is the internet access. So in under internet access, we have the provider and also the browser. So what does it mean about the provider? Next. Okay, so internet access provider. Internet service provider or we call it as the ISP means that common way to access the internet. Okay. Uh, so, I internet service provider also provide a path to access the internet and they use a telephone line, cable and or wireless connection. What does it mean about the internet service provider? Means that uh, the, the organization that provide you a way to access the internet. That means about the internet service provider. Provider. Okay, they give you something, they provide you a path or they provide you a way to access the internet. So, most common providers, so I give you example in US and also in Malaysia. In US, the most common provider is Verizon, Comcast, Spring, T-Mobile, at and In Malaysia, we have Maxis, very familiar among you, Cellcom, TM, Unify, TM Unify. What else? We have their DD and that's all the example of the internet access, internet service provider. The company that give you internet, that give you path to access the internet. So internet service provider connect using connection technology which is DSL, cable and also wireless. So three of these, we will learn more on the topic 8. Okay, next week. Okay, next is how we connect to the internet. So, in internet, we have two things, which is uh, IP address and a domain name. What does it mean about the IP address? An IP address is a sequence of a number that uniquely identify each computer or device connected to the internet. As you can see in here, this is example of the IP address. So, as a... Uh, as this mentioned, it says that IP address sequence of number this is. This is example of the IP address 74.125.224.72. So this is a uh, IP address. Okay. So remember, IP address is a number sequence, a number that uniquely identify each computer or device connected to the internet. So next is a domain name. A domain name is a text-based name that correspond to the IP address. So, this is the example of the domain name for this IP address. Okay. 
So remember, remember back at the chapter one, chapter two. Remember, computer does not uh, understand our language. So domain name is the language that we know. Okay, that uh, human human language. To convert this human language to this number, you need use the DNS server. Okay, domain name system server. Uh, will translate the domain name into its associated IP address. So remember DNS server. Okay, guys. So next browser, browser will provide access to web resources, and it's and it's also allow you to explore the web. So it is very uncomplicated interface to internet, as you can see, uncomplicated. So when you can see this interface, you know what you want to do in here. Okay, connect to remote computer. We can do the file transfer, display many varieties of multimedia, and so on. So this is example of the web browser. So as you can see, Google Chrome, very famous, Microsoft Edge, Apple Safari for the, uh, for the Apple computer for the Mac computer, and next is the Mozilla Fire. For this is the example of the browser. So browser also, uh, we can navigate, search for information. Also, we can communicate using the web. Means that we can go from this page, uh, web page to another web page. Okay, next is uniform resource locator, or we call it as the URL. So what does it mean about the URL? So URL means that location or address of resource. Okay, so uh, they have two parts, uh, which is they have the protocol and also the domain name. Protocol is the rule for exchanging data, which is HTTPS. So S means that secure, security. Okay. So, uh, domain name is the where resource is located. Uh, we call we can say that domain name is the specific address where the resources is located. So this is the example of the URL: https www.mtv.com. This one we know this as the protocol rule for exchanging the data. So uh, this is the address or we call it as the domain name and this is the top level domain. So what does it mean about the top level domain? So uh, next slide I will explain you more about the top level domain. Okay. So next. Okay. This is uh, another example of the URL. Remember? URL is the location or address of resources. So I give you example uh, URL that you, you are very familiar among of you. Of course, HTTPS, pahang.uitm.edu.my. This one, remember when you see this one, HTTPS, this one we known as the protocol rules for exchanging the data in the website. So this one is what? Address or we call it as the domain name. Okay, and this one, at the end of this domain name, we uh, call it as the top level domain TLD. Okay, guys. So next, okay, this is the explanation. What is actually the top level domain TLD? So top level domain or web suffix is identify the type of organization. When you see at the end of the domain, you see the .com. So, .com is the type of the organization commercial. Okay, .edu for the educational, like UITM. UITM.edu.my ah, See, edu, educational. .government, .gov is for the government. .mail is your US military. .net is a network. .org is the organization. If you can, uh, if you if you see that dot my, dot my means that this is Malaysia. Okay, and you also can see the address have the dot us come from the United States. Okay, guys, next, next is the uh, HTML and hyperlink. What does it mean about the HTML? 
So HTML is a hypertext markup language or we call it as the HTML. HTML is the markup language for displaying a web page. So this is one of the type of the coding, coding language. So for the for the website, for the web page, they use the HTML. Okay, to display all the information, all the picture in the website. Okay, next browser interpret HTML command, display document as a web page. Later, I will show you uh, an example of the hypertext markup language. So next is the hyperlink or link connect to other web page. So it same as the uh, hyperlink in the, the Microsoft PowerPoint. If we click the link, it will uh, direct us to the another page. Okay, so uh, hyperlink says that connect to other web page. So uh, sometimes hyperlink in the text file. Sometimes uh, we can click the graphic image or sometimes we can click the audio and video clip. So that is the hyperlink or link. Okay, okay. This is one of the example of the HTML. This is the HTML code. So as you can see, this is the picture, right? So uh, if we want to display this picture in the website or the web page, so we need this code to display only this one. Okay, all of this, as you can see, you see this is the Hebahan, right? So this is the one words. However, to display the Hebahan, you need to use this HTML code. Okay, so as you can see, uh, for the Malaysia University English Stars Moet, you can see this is the click sini. So this is one of the example of the hyperlink or link. When you click this button, okay, when you click this button, it will go to another page. Next is the interactive website. So what does it mean about the interactive website? Interactive uh, website is the technology used to provide highly interactive and animated website. To do the interactive website, you need you need this technology, which is cascading style sheet, CSS, JavaScript, Ajax, and applets. So, a uh, mobile browser is designed to run on a portable devices. So as you can see, uh, when you are in a mobile browser, uh, the mobile browser contains special navigational tool for convenient to pinch and stretch the the browser. You can pinch uh, to bigger the the view of the browser and so on. So that is one of the example of interactive website. Okay, you can interact with the website. So next is the web utilities. What does it mean about the web utilities? Web Utilities is the specialized utility program that makes using the internet and web safer and easier. So, uh, under Web Utility, you have four types, which is you have a uh, plugin, you need a filter, you need the file transfer utility, and the last one, you need the internet security suite. So, next we go to the plugin. What does it mean about the plugin? Plugin is the is the program that starts that uh, that automatically start and operate as part of your browser okay this plugin enhance browsing as experience for example enables facial file format and maintenance element for example of the plugin that you can find in the browser is you can have the plugin acrobat reader acrobat reader is used for the viewing and printing a variety of standard form and other documents when we talk about the Acrobat Reader, uh, it will uh, read the PDF file. Okay, next we have the Flash Player. Flash Player we use for the viewing videos, animation and other media inside the browser. QuickTime. QuickTime is the product from the Apple. Okay, uh, it's for the playing audio and also the video files. And the last one we have the Window media player that we can also play in audio file, video file, and much more in your browser. Okay, so this is a uh, example of my plugin in uh, in my browser. So I have all of this Adobe, Adobe Acrobat, Avast Online Security, and so on. So this is example of the plugin. So you can find your plugin under extension in your browser.
Okay, next is the filter. What does it mean about the filter? Filter means we want to block access to selected site and can set time limits. So filter also we can use for the monitor, total time spent on the internet and at the individual website. As you know that not all the website is uh, safe for your child, for your younger sister or younger brother. So you need to use the filter to monitor them or to block access to the selected site. For example, website that's not good or not uh, suitable for the kids. Okay, so you can use the AVG Family Safety, uh, Coo uh, Studio Parental Control, Norton Online Family, Net Nanny, Make a Free Family Protection. So this is a very important, especially for parents who want to monitor their children. Okay. Uh, they can know what uh, their uh, what their children open in the website. Next is the file transfer utilities. So file transfer utilities, okay, uh, means that upload and download file to and from the internet. So they have two types, which is downloading, uploading. So what does it mean about the downloading? Okay, uh, the definition of the downloading is that using file transfer utility software, you can copy file to your computer from specially configured server. Means that you download something into your computer. If you uh, if you copy file to your computer, we call it as the downloading. So, what does it mean about the uploading? Uploading means that using file transfer utility software to copy. Okay, to copy from your computer to another computer on the internet. Uh, we can call it as the uploading. For example, you uh, for example, you use the Instagram, right? So, Instagram, you you want to upload your your picture into the Instagram. The origin of your picture is come from your phone. Okay, so come from uh, from your phone and then you copy that picture into the Instagram. So the process itself we call it as the uploading. Okay, so three popular types of program is the file transfer protocol FTP, SFTP, web-based file transfer service and BitTorrent. Okay, so, uh, file transfer protocol FTP, secure file transfer protocol as FTP means that allow you to efficiently copy file to and from your computer across the internet and frequently used for uploading changes to website host by an internet service provider. Next, we have the web-based file transfer service. Make use of the web browser to upload and download the file. This eliminates the need for any custom software to be Install when we talk about the web uh, web base, you no need to install the software to upload and download the file to the to the web browser. For example, a popular web based file transfer is the Dropbox or uh, Google Drive. Okay, this is the example. So we no need to install that uh, program Dropbox. No, you just open the Dropbox in the web browser. Next, we have the BitTorrent. BitTorrent is a dispute file transfer across many computers for more efficient downloads and good for transferring large files. Sometimes in the BitTorrent, uh, they have the file is, is illegal. For example, like a movie, pirate movie. So, I'm not encouraging you to use the BitTorrent. If you want to use the BitTorrent, please uh, see first whether the movie have the copyright or not. If you download from the BitTorrent and the movie uh, does not have the copyright, means that you download what pirate version. So that is not good ethic uh, when using the internet. Okay. Okay. Next is the internet security suit. Uh, this is designed to maintain your security and privacy while on the web. So okay, please remember, while you are using internet, you are exposed yourself to the uh, internet criminal so to avoid that, hap that happen to you so you need the internet security suit the best uh, two best known suit is the McAfee internet security semantic Norton internet security or you can use the Avas, AVG and so on so this is one of the web utility to avoid you from the uh, cyber 
criminal. Okay, or internet criminal. Okay. So next is the communication. Uh, we use the communication is the stand, uh, standard way to stay in touch. We want to communicate with other people around the world. So uh, there are a few way how you can communicate or stay in touch with other people. First, you can use email. Okay, second, you can use the messaging. Next is the social networking. And the last one is the blogs, microblogs, webcast, podcast, and wiki. Okay, so next, first is what is the email? Email, email is the most popular internet activity. Okay, email is the electronic mail. Okay, means that we want to transmission of electronic message over the internet. So, email have the three elements which is header. Under header, you have the three elements also. You have the address, subject and attachment. Next, you have the message and the last one, you have the signature. So, this is uh, the example of the email. So, at the first, this one. At the first, before the alias, this one we known as the username. So, this one we know as the domain name. Again, what does it mean about the domain name? Domain name is the address. Okay, so this is the top level domain. T-L-D. So, what does it mean about the EDU? EDU is a educational organization. So, next. Okay, this is... Uh, one of the example of the internet. So, this is address. You can put the address to CC and BC. Two is the who the email uh, you want to send. Next is the subject. Subject is the topic of your message. So, this is the body of the email. Or, or we call it as the message body. So, this example of the signature. Okay, next we have the attachment. You can attach, for example, like this. You can attach the uh, file, you can attach the picture, and so on. So, this is the element of the email. Okay, guys. Okay, so next email system. Email system is, uh, they have two email system. Two type of email system. First is the client-based. Second is the web-based. So, what is the difference between client Client base and the web base. So as you can see, client base is the email client. Okay, you must be installed on the computer. If you want to use the client base, you need to install it first before you want to use it. For example, like Apple Mail and Microsoft Outlook. So you need to install first before you want to use it. Usually, this type of the client base uh, is used for the company. Okay, for the company email. So next we have the web base. So web base means that web mail client. So this web mail client, you no need to install it first before you want to use it. No installation necessary. And the best is this is free. Okay. So example of the web mail client is a Google Mail, Microsoft Hotmail, Yahoo Mail. Okay, this is the example of the web base. And this, uh, and this type of the email system, you can access it from any computer. And if you use the client base, client base, you need to open it in your in your computer only. Okay, you cannot open in your friend computer. No. Okay. However, for the web base, you can connect it at any computer you want. So, when we talk about the email, usually we have the spam. Spam. Okay, spam means that unwelcome mail or unsolicited uh, mail. Sometimes, this uh, spam contain the computer virus. So, when we talk about the computer virus, virus can disruptive our program. And usually, this virus will attach in the unsolicited email. That's why this mail we call it as the spam. Okay, to block the uh, spam, you can use the spam blocker or spam filter. So, this uh, spam blocker can identify and control the spam. And this one is the free program. The example of the spam blocker, you can use the spam fighter and integral personal anti-spam format. So, C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A-N-S-C-A
CAN spam egg uh, created anti spam laws for the control. Every marketing related email must provide an opt option. Opt out option. Okay, so uh, tips to block this uh, spam keep a low profile or don't ever respond to spam. Sometimes spam is look like the legal uh, legal email, maybe come from the maybe and so on. So please uh, read it first and don't respond it if you see that email is suspicious. Okay, please don't open or click any link inside the spam email. So next is a messaging. So before this, uh, we use the text messaging to connect people around the world. Okay, uh, when we talk about the text messaging, it just for the testing only. Also known as uh, testing is sending short electronic message between mobile. Okay, so you can see you remember this phone. Okay, this phone 3310. Nokia 33 Kupang, right? Uh, so, uh, during that time, this phone, uh, this, this phone only just focus on the text messaging. So next, they are upgrading their, uh, their services, their, their phone. We can use the MMS. When MMS come in into into the phone uh, feature, so MMS uh, we can use to send an image, video, and sound, and we call it that phone is the 3G 3G phone. Okay, next we have the instant messaging. Instant messaging means the extension of the email that provide direct live communication between two or more people. We can group. We can. Um, we can message in a group uh, so usually this kind of the feature uh, we use right now in the telegram or also in the whatsapp most programs include video conferencing feature file sharing and remote assistant so uh, example of the instant messenger facebook messenger google hands out uh, telegram whatsapp okay that is all the example of the instant messaging okay next we have the social networking so this is the most popular among us uh, in new generation right now so social networking is used for connecting people and organization that share a common interest or activity for example we want to share about our activity our recipe our cooking and so on okay three most popular is of course like facebook google plus a link in okay so rather than facebook uh, new generation right now use uh, instagram use a uh, twitter okay to socialize with other people okay so next what does it mean about the blog micro blogs okay blog or we call it as the a web blog is a personal new page it have the date or timestamp Arrange with the most recent item shown first. So this is one the example of the blogger. Then they use the blog for the recipe and so on. So this is the example of the blog. Okay. So micro blog means that short status update. So this is very famous right now. So I'm also um, use a Twitter. So Twitter means that uh, you tweet a short status update only. Okay, so if you want to post uh, a long status, you need to use uh, Instagram or the Facebook. If you just want to short status update, you can use the Twitter. Okay, so webcast, podcast, and wikis. So webcast, what is different between webcast and podcast? Webcast means that streaming technology for live broadcast of audio and video. When we talk about a live broadcast, example that I can give you is the YouTube. Okay, so no file after streaming ends. So, um, podcast means that we uh, must download first the file if we want to use. And also, we can transfer to a media player. The example of the podcast is the i tunes okay for the apple user so next is the wiki or uh, the famous uh, the famous word that we usually say is the wikipedia so what does it mean about the wikipedia so wiki means that specially designed website allow visitor to edit the content support collaborative rights 
writing. So I want to give you a reminder. So please don't use Wikipedia as your references, as your material references. Because of what? Because of what? Because of this this point. Okay. Because of allow visitor to edit the content. How did you know the author is a very familiar with that topic? For example, you submit national park. So. I'm not familiar with the national park, but I can edit it using my uh, maybe my imagination. So that's why Wikipedia is not suitable to use as the references. So remember. Okay, next is the search tool. So what what does it mean about the search tool? So search tool is the specialized program that assists you in locating information on the web and the internet. So, uh, one organization use uh, give you the search service means that they operate the website and they use the spider to look for the new information and update the website. So, uh, search engine uh, we use for assist in locating specific information. For example, you you want to find the UITM, so they will give you result all about the UITM based on this specific word. Okay. For the specialized search engine, focus on subject-specific website. For example, you just uh, input UITM specific, you specific. This one is general. This one is the specific. Paham. Okay, the result that the uh, the the search engine give you is all about the UITM Pahang, UITM Raup and UITM. Jungka. Uh, that's mean about the specialized search engine. Okay, next is the content evaluation. For example, uh, I can give you situation for the COVID right now. Okay, there's many fake news, right? Uh, that people say like this. The people say uh, use this one. The 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 vaccine is not good for you. So please find the accurate information in the internet. Based on these four, okay. Based on these four, first you should check the authority whether the author, whether the author is expert in in that uh, subject. Accurate whether the information is accurate or uh, correctness. Posting on the web, objectivity is the information factually reported or does the author have a bias? And the last one is currency. Remember, currency is not the matter wang. Currency is is. Is the information is up to date? This is how you can evaluate the content inside the website. So be careful. If you not sure about the content, if you not sure about the news, please don't share it to other people. If you sure about the information in that website, you can share it. Okay. Okay. Next is the electronic commerce. What does it mean about the e-commerce? So e-commerce means that we buying and selling of goods over the internet. They have the three basic type. First, we have the business to consumer, or we call it as the B two C. Next is the consumer to consumer, C two C, and the last one we have the business to business, B two B. Okay. So uh, if the question asks you give the three basic type, so please write this one business to consumer. Then you can use the B two C. If you write your answer just B2C, C2C, B2B, so this is that is wrong. Okay, please write the full words. Okay, if the question asks you, give the three basic type and explain each type. Okay, so this question is very very famous in tests and also the final tests. Okay. So next we go to the business to consumer or we call it as the B2C. What does it mean about the business to consumer? It means that we sell of product or service to general public. Consumer or we call it, uh, we call it as the customer or individual. It is a very fast growing type of e-commerce. Three most widely used B2C application is online banking, financial trading, and shopping. Amazon.com is the one of the most widely used B2C. An example of B2C in Malaysia is the like our uh, Tesco online. Okay, Tesco online. Okay, means that Tesco is the business. 
is that uh, sell their product through internet to the public to the individual so that's why the uh, tesco.online is one of the example of the business to consumer so next we have uh, consumer to consumer case c to c uh, consumer to consumer means that you want to sell your product from individual to another individual okay so the example that the book gave you is the web auction buyer and seller sell the meat uh, bids are submitted electronically person to person auction site okay web auction for example ebay ub quibit okay uh, rather than that we can also use the shopee uh, okay the shopee uh please specify that uh if you use the example of shopee specified is uh for example that individual that individual sell their phone through shopee maybe okay uh usually shopee they don't have the the, the business they're not the bigger business not have the company okay Rather than that, you can use the mudah.my. This is very, very easy. Uh, what? Very easy example, mudah.my. Okay, usually mudah.my, uh, the, the the individual use mudah.my. Okay, for example, uh, they want to sell the iPhone. Usually, they use the mudah.my to find the second hand uh, product. Uh, phone, you can find the laptop. Okay, and so on. So that's why we call it as the individual to individual, consumer to consumer. So next we have the business to business. So when we talk about the business to business, from one company to another company. Okay, business to business is the sale of the product or service from one business to another business. Okay, to another business. Primarily a manufacturer and supplier relationship. For example, furniture manufacturer require raw materials such as wood, paint and varnish. So wood is come from other company. Paint is come from the paint company and so on. So that's why this uh, manufacturer supplier relationship, we call it as the business to business. So example that we can give is the online training or online advertising. Rather than that, we can give example for the Tesco. Okay, Tesco is one business, right? Okay, so in Tesco, there are variety of variety of grocery, variety of goods. For example, we have the biscuit and so on. So each goods is come from the their company. For example, biscuit. Okay, biscuit come from the company Hapsang. Uh, so this is business to business. See. Okay, beside that, uh, I can give you A Asia. A Asia is a one business, right? So A Asia provide um, food, okay, food and beverage for you. For example, we have the nasi lemak pak nasi. Oh my god, okay, nasi lemak pak nasi. So nasi lemak pak nasi is come from the business pak nasi. So that's why we call it as a business to business. Okay, we nampak eh? You can see it, you can understand. If you don't understand, you can ask me. Okay? So next is the cloud computing. Cloud computing is a shift computing activity from user computer to computer on the internet. So usually, uh, user use the cloud computing to save their memory in the computer. So uh, cloud computing is free and user from owning, maintaining and storing software program and data you no need to install it inside your computer. So, three basic components, we have the client and user which is I and you, uh, service provider and the internet. Service provider, for example, we use the Google Doc, Google Drive, it comes from the Google. This cloud computing, you can access it anywhere. Okay, this is the advantages when you use the cloud computing. Okay, as you can see right now, we use the Google Classroom, right? So that is one of example of the cloud computing. We use the cloud computing to store all kind of our notes, my video and so on. 
So that's what I mean about the cloud computing. We store it inside the use on the internet. Okay. Okay, there's a uh, two critical factor that determine the efficiency of cloud computing. First is the speed and reliability of the user access to the internet. The second is internet capability to provide safe and reliable transmission of data and for quorum. Okay, so that's the efficiency if we use the cloud computing. Okay, next uh, internet of things, IoT. Internet of Things means that a uh, continuing development of the internet a lot of object embedded with electronic devices to send and receive data. For example, we have the smartphone and wearable devices. So as you can see, this is one of the example of the Internet of Things. So our this wearable device, or we call it as the smartwatch, uh, we can connect this watch into phone okay so usually we use this one for healthy it will collect all the walking distance something create for the walking system our heartbeat and so on so this this internet of thing use the web 3.0 fd okay sure so uh a look to the future maybe in the future we have all this one Okay, car dashboard as a power internet connected computer unified. Wow. Okay. Maybe in the future, maybe. Okay. Is it the safety and dynamic feature are already there? Potential distraction. So you can discuss among you whether this technology is good for us. Okay, guys. That's all for topic 7. Topic 7 completed. So, um... So don't forget uh, to do the tutorial that I have given you inside the Google Classroom. And uh, one more is don't forget to click your attendance in the near future. So guys, if you have any question, please ask me in the telegram. And that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.